Welcome back to America's Now. I'm Elaine Reyes. Away from the hustle of Rio or the metropolis of Sao Paulo, there is an area of Brazil where you can find tropical landscape gardens spanning some 5,000 acres. It is on its way to becoming the world's biggest display of contemporary art, an extraordinary dream being brought to life by billionaire Bernardo Paz. Paz, a 61-year-old chain-smoking mining magnate, has installed more than 500 works by Brazilian and foreign artists in his garden. It may one day welcome a million visitors a year. Paz has been described as unconventional with a touch of megalomania. And as America's Now correspondent Stephen Gibbs found during a recent interview, Paz did not disappoint. This is a place designed to make you wonder and make you think. Some of the world's most extravagant and expensive contemporary art set in 5,000 acres of remote, landscaped Brazilian forest. It is the dream part fulfilled of this man, billionaire mining magnate Bernardo Paz. Eu me casei algumas vezes e uma vez que eu separei, eu estava procurando um lugar para ficar e eu tinha uma empresa de mineração. E esta empresa de mineração tinha comprado essa fazenda. Eu vim para cá, tinha uma casa mais ou menos boa, falei, ah, vou ficar por aqui. Mas eu nunca consegui ficar sem fazer nada. Então comecei a construir um grande jardim comecei a conversar com alguns artistas contemporâneos. Esses artistas contemporâneos me convenceram, e hoje estou completamente convencido disso, de que a arte contemporânea veio para ficar. Porque a, a, a arte contemporânea, do jeito, que ela, do jeito que ela é, ela tem que ser interativa. Ela tem que ser educativa. E muitas vezes política. Ela não tem necessariamente que ser bonita, ela tem que ser inteligente. And so, with the help of eight curators, two American, one Portuguese, and five Brazilian, he began a quest to find the most thought-provoking art in the world. This, the Sonic Pavilion, contains a microphone at the bottom of a 600-foot borehole to pick up the sound of the earth. To fund his dream and pay the salaries of the 1,000 full-time workers, Bernardo Paz is spending a fortune, as much as $60 million a year. All of this has been largely possible because of your phenomenal business success. Do you see it as an act of philanthropy, this whole project? All my money is here, is inside here. I don't have money for, for entertainment, my entertainment. Also, I don't have money for my family entertainment. Because I think this is a cause. One cows. It's certainly an ambitious cause. The park is at least an hour and a half's flight and a further two hours drive from any of Brazil's major cities. 